Hello, my name is Josh. I am the co-owner of Genesis Exotics at www.genesisexotics.com. Today I'm going to cover the springtails and isopods, what they are, why, they're, why they are important, and their role in a living, active, bioactive ecosystem. For starters, uh, well, the springtails are found all around the world. They are little insects that are only about a millimeter long that are found in dry areas, humid areas, marshes, all over the world. These are active detrivores that live in these ecosystems and break down decaying matter that put nutrients right back into the soil. What these small organisms do, they provide a food source for many different types of reptiles and amphibians uh, around the world, as well as create the soil to have it be filled with plenty of nutrients, as I mentioned before. The springtails themselves are very, very hard to find in the wild. Many times you'll have to lift up a log and you will see a small colony of them eating away the log, putting the nutrients back into the soil. You'll find them eating away the leaf litter that's found on the forest floor, putting the nutrients back into the soil. When we use them in a, in a living vivarium, such as all of our uh, so as all of our vivariums that you see here, they live in the soil and they break down the decaying leaf litter at, in the tank. They put the nutrients back into the soil, which then the plants utilize and keep the soil active, healthy, and long-lasting. Springtails are also great because they provide an alternative source of food for your frogs. They are great for many neonatal species such as Ufaga, Rhinotomia, and either small dendrobates will take them readily when they are young. It is very, very easy to culture these as I will touch base with you guys that in a minute. The isopods are actually crustaceans. They are found all over the world in almost any, every single biotype known to man, even the desert, even the ocean. They are one of the diverse animal groups found all over the world. The, these crustaceans also act as tank janitors in your living vivarium. Like the springtails, they break down the living and dead organisms that are found in your tank. When I say living organisms, I say they break down the old roots that are still alive but starting to die, helping to keep your plants alive. They break down the fecal matter in your tank, which is the fantastic uh, way to keep your tank nice and clean, and these are the key component in a bioactive ecosystem. The springtails and isopods both work together to create a living, substantial ecosystem within your tank. What's nice about the isopods is that they're also an extremely good source of food. Reptiles and amphibians especially heavily rely on vitamin A for basic homeostasis. Isopods are very, very high in calcium and they're also very high in vitamin A. I hand feed many of my large dendrobates, my large phyllobates, and some of my tree frogs readily eat some of the larger isopods. I have isopods established in my crested gecko vivariums, my gargoyle gecko vivariums, my corn snake enclosure, as well as the, the bottom part of my veiled chameleon enclosure. And I have never cleaned their tanks. The isopods clean up all the fecal matter for me, even the corn snake. However, it does take some time for the population to build its density to create such an efficient self-cleaning ecosystem but there are products that we, that we Genesis Exotics offer to help you get to that point in a quick and efficient manner. One of my favorite products that I like to offer is our Southern Palm Bark. Collected right down here in Texas, the Southern Palm Bark is a hard, fibrous wood that breaks down quickly but still retains its, its shape. We use it in all of our master cultures for our isopods and our springtails. The springtails, we like to keep our master cultures in large tubs such as these. We will ship our springtail cultures to you all over the United States with a live arrival guarantee and an 8 ounce deli cup with our southern palm bark in it. We like to use larger chunks and keep it relatively moist. 
The springtails like to gather on it, and from there, we'll lay eggs and produce on the palm bark. We also like to use it with conjunction of magnolia leaf litter, maple leaf litter, or your oak varieties of litter. Me personally, I don't like to use the oak as often because it breaks down very quickly, doesn't provide as much surface area, and, and, and to me, doesn't look as well as it's giving the proper layering. That's where the southern palm bark comes in. It lasts a very long time, and the springtails absolutely love it. As you can see, the springtails are readily crawling all over the cult, all over the southern palm bark. We have different life stages that you can see. These are our our temperate springtails, which are found on your more temperate areas in the world. You can see uh, some here, the adults here, and there are thousands of babies all over this culture here. For our isopods, not only do we like to use our southern palm bark, we also like to use magnolia leaf litter, as the isopods can eat it quicker. So you can kind of see in here, this is, this is a small starter culture for some giant orange isopods. And there you have it. Here's just two small examples of how we like to culture our bugs and why, and why we have such success with them. The last secret I like to share is our food. We offer one of our uh, food is called bug grub. Not only does it work extremely well for roaches and crickets, it is extremely efficient for isopods. It is extremely high in glycogen, which is one of the main nutritional uh, sources that isopods go for. Not only does it help with quicker breeding, it also helps with gut loading the isopods so they are a more healthier meal for your frogs, lizards, or even skinks. For our springtails, we like to use our springtail grub, which we simply sprinkle right onto the inside, just like our bug grub, about once a week. And that simply takes care of the culture itself. Once these animals are implanted into your vivariums, there is no need to feed them the bug grub or the springtail grub. As long as you have the necessary components such as southern palm bark or leaf litter, they will take care of themselves, populate themselves, and create a self-sustaining, self-cleaning, bioactive ecosystem in your living room. Again, we are Genesis Exotics, and we are pleased to offer the largest variety of springtails and isopods on the internet. With a live arrival guarantee, please visit us at genesisexotics.com.